hello guys uh, uh, in this tutorial uh, we will discuss uh, how to dynamic the footer section so in our previous tutorial uh, we already knew that how to dynamic the logo how to manage the menus part i mean the header section so basically now we are going to discuss uh, to dynamic the footer area so this is our footer section you can see uh, at the top there is a menu and uh, below the menu you can see some disclaimer text and after that uh, copyright section linkedin icon and the design by okay so let's uh, dynamic the menu area so in that case we need to open a uh, footer.php first okay so uh, you can see we already connected uh, the server through a file jilla so this is our wordpress uh, dev child theme go to here okay once you click on uh, it uh, you need to open footer.php okay here is our footer.php file okay We will uh, uh, we will dynamic the menus part uh, in the footer section first. Okay, so this is our uh, menus area. Okay, we need to dynamic this. So in that case, we need to create footer menu. Okay, uh, in the dashboard area, go to uh, appearance and menus. Okay. Okay, this this is done for the header menus. Now we will done same things for footer menu. So we need to create a menu called footer menu. Footer menu and create the menu. Okay, now we will do same things to adding the menus like we did on the header part. So here is a menu called about as there are no pages created for now so we will add custom link about us as then services services then our team our team then podcast contact now now menus are added for the footer menu now we need to select the location for footer menu okay now this is the location has set for the footer menu okay now we need to open our function.php file in the function.php file okay now you can see uh, for the primary menu uh, that was for header and the footer is for the footer menu so the location is footer okay so just copy this location and go back to your footer.php file and we need to remove this and we need to add our wp name menu function php wp nav menu array function now we need to add our theme location now theme location we already copied for footer is called footer just we need to paste here paste okay there is no container so we will add container equals to blank now control is and save the file now it's saved go back to your site and refresh the page 
so once you refreshed scroll back to your footer area now you can see it's already dynamic so you can add more menu like this if you would like to add more menu like blog you can add this save the menu okay now go back to your site and refresh the page now you can see a new menu for blog has been added for the footer section okay so as we don't need the blog for now so we can remove this part from the footer area so now this uh, menu has been dynamic okay now uh, we'll dynamic the disclaimer part so this part disclaimer and the copyright and the designed and developed by text uh, will manage this part from the home page actually from the home page you already manage on the header part in the header logo so we'll do same things for footer area so go back to custom field okay so so for managing the pages managing managing the elements we are using a cost advanced custom field plugin so now here we can edit this as well actually so we can edit this like a uh, called header and footer so this is for header logo is for header so we can add tab called header you can fill type called as a tab so it will be present properly so this is the tab called header header is for header logo and we will create a tab again another tab called footer so this is our footer tab okay so under footer tab we will add our disclaimer first so we can field add field called footer the disclaimer okay we can select as a music editor the disclaimer then we can add copyright copyright text copyright text then we can add design and development by Can add a text area. Now for the footer, footer disclaimer, copyright text, and design development by text field has been added. Now we need to update. So, so you can see header and footer. All these fields are managing through a home page. So we need to open a home page now. So edit your home page. So now you can see. In the home page backend in the right side there are two tab called header and footer you can see here the tab is for header is for header logo and the footer tab is for this thing so the two tabs has been created right so you can see it's represent properly right so footer we need to add footer disclaimer just go to your website you can copy this text just copy and go to text mode then paste it now you can see paste it now you add copyright text same things you can copy this part and you can okay and also for design and development by text you can see what design and development by text this one okay can copy this and paste. Actually, uh, actually, we added this as a text area. Uh, text area. We can change this to easy editor. 
for better as because in the design you can see uh, that tag tag called p tag so for p tag we always use a wizig editor okay so now update also you can update here so now our footer section is for footer disclaimer text uh, footer copyright text and footer design and development by text has been added right we can add our link later here as per our need now we need to co no, code in the footer.php file so how we can code so in this area is for footer disclaimer right so go back to your field advanced custom field field so what is for footer disclaimers so this is for footer disclaimer the field name is footer disclaimer so we need to just copy this first copy and go back to your footer.php file here we can remove this and we need to add our code like this the field as we are using advanced custom field plugin that's why the uh, function there is a function called the field and then we can paste our field level for footer disclaimer add semicolon same we will do for copyright area you can see this is our copyright text copy this label field name copy and add your code the field one thing you need to make sure that these things are managed through home page home page and header and footer is the part for all the all all the pages so we need to add the id as because these parts are managing through the home page so we need to add the id as well like we did on our previous tutorial okay five so id is five so after the field name add comma at five same as for disclaimer so that it will reflect for all the pages so now we need to code for design and development by so this is our p tag we can remove we will remove the p tag totally as because we are using wizig editor so for design and development by text just copy this part copy and add our over here the field and comma 5 same 5 is for the home page id as because these things are managed through home page now we need to now we need to check so we are checking that uh, all are done and there is one thing is remaining i think a uh, footer a linkedin icon right so this is our linkedin so we can use here uh, linkedin link so here we can use a linkedin link and drag and drop here update reload this page first scroll down you can see the linkedin link you can add a default linkedin link for now suppose okay update so same things we need to copy this linkedin link field name go back to your file so here is the href link here we can add our custom code the field but for this field actually uh, we always use a condition so we need to remove until or unless uh, we are adding the LinkedIn link. So in that case, we need to add a logic called. We can add like this. PHP if 
get field LinkedIn link comma five okay if the field is true okay if the get field equals to true that means true so our LinkedIn section will be displayed otherwise it will not display okay now we can save this part Control S and save. Now it's uploading. Okay. Now it's uploaded. Go back to your website and just refresh the page. Now go back to now you can see our this footer menu disclaimer and copyright area and this section also the linkedin has been dynamic now once you click on linkedin you can see it's opening so for the third party link you can see it's opening the same page but we need to make sure it will be open a new window so here we can use a target plan target plan to open the url in a new tab okay yes now go back to your website refresh the website first so scroll down now once you click on it you can see it's opening a new window so in this way we can easily dynamic the footer part okay uh, now you uh, now our next tutorial uh, now our next tutorial will discuss how to uh, dynamic the body of the part for the pages. Okay.